Howdy y'all, it's your host Roman. Welcome back to Love It Games. We're going to continue our journey in Life is Strange 2. So please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. And we'll see what we can get into. We are about to walk into the hotel and see what's up. We uh, apparently missed one collectible, which I didn't realize, but means we'll have to go through it some other time and try to get it. Apparently on the beach, when we were throwing the stick, there was a way to get the dog to bring us back a collectible. In most of these games, you are you can usually find 99% of them. But, I guess on another playthrough, I'll have to come back for that. But, we're going to continue forward, see what we can find, what we can do, and what's going to happen. As of right now, Brody left us with a bunch of stuff. Brody was a bro. Helped us out a bunch, rented us a motel room. Motel room number 10. We're going to see what we can do. And we really need to tell Daniel what happened. And I think it's really messed up that we left Seattle. We could have came forward, got everything strained out. But no, Sean decided to run. So, continue on. Hopefully this gets better. So like, comment, subscribe, share the video. We took this dog. I love dogs. I have several dogs. You're on the lamb. You should not have took the dog. Okay. Good. Looks like the manager's asleep for the night. I shouldn't have any trouble from them. I should run around the parking lot real quick. Do you think it will have Netflix or a jacuzzi? Dude, this is some hotel, not an Airbnb. If we're lucky. It'll have cable and a hot shower. Uh, sadly, you may end up seeing some adult programming on that cable. It is a hotel. I just hope you don't get bed bugs. There's a child in seven. We need to get to that room 10 now. We're no trying time to wander around. Nine, so this one's 10. Oh, and in just a second, I want to see if there's anything out here. Never know. Sean, look, room 10. I found it. No shit, Sherlock Diaz. But being so negative. Your little brother, he doesn't even have any idea what's going on. You need to tell him. Ooh. Check it out. It even has a bathtub. Good. I'm gonna throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV too. And there's a balcony. Whoa, this is nice. And warm. Oh, this bed is soft. What about this one? Uh, not bad. But too far from the TV. Can I take the one in front of the TV? Huh? Wanna play it over rock, paper, scissors? Oh, there's no way you can beat me, but Ready? I am so ready to beat you. Scissors. Aw, shoot. I told you, man. Can we play another round? Come on. Sure, I mean, you're gonna lose again, but suit yourself. Not this time. Do scissors again. Aw, come on. Not fair. You lost, man. What's not fair? I wanted that bed. Eh, uh, take it. For real? I don't really care. Awesome. They're the same, you know? Yeah, but I like this one better. All right, I'm gonna run a bath. We totally reek. Especially you, Pigpen. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure, Cave Boy. I'll call you when it's ready. Uh, I'll be right here. Of course you will. 
Now I'm watching some Hot Dog Man. Hot Dog Man is on. Ooh, I remember this episode. Oh, shit, that was wild. Damn, it's on so late. But we have a tent now. Thanks for everything, Brody. I'll be extra careful. Man, wish we still had Brody around. Yeah, Brody was a bro. Literally read all this. Did it not? Guess it may not have saved. Where is the click? Oh. Yeah. Gotta keep moving. Yeah. What that charge? Yeah. Free eyes, free Don't think we'll be coming back this way. See, you got painting. Damn. I, I could paint this shit. I've painted a really cool beach painting. I don't know, one day I may have to show it on here because I love to paint. Nehru and I both paint. I feel like she's better than me. Ooh la la. Fresh but clean towel. We've got paintings we've made all throughout our house. And we can make some really good handmade paint and Daniel. stuff. A real bed. <laughs> Can't believe I'm that happy to stay at a motel. Y'all are ever interested in what we've painted? Some Let me know. Do not change. We've got stuff all over. I could show. I literally have a painting this right here. This episode is awesome. You should sit down and watch it with me. I wasn't planning on getting rid of his bag, but. Huh. Where did Daniel get this? He took it. What's that? Uh, it was in Brody's car. He gave it to you. Uh, well, uh, yeah. You stole it from him? Uh -huh. I don't know. It looked cool, and you stole before, so I thought... <sighs> Ma'am. Yeah, yeah, okay. I see what you did. But you should be careful. I know, I know. Don't worry. It's not right Nobody to steal. Me, right? Right. Daniel will be warm in this. That's a good thing. Mushroom, look! It's Hot Dog Man! I tried to iron my shirts once. Burned a hole through them. I can see why they left that tie. Hey, not wrong with that. A cheap Reese's. souvenir for a cheap trip. Makes sense. I'll take it. Yeah. Like I'm gonna sweep the carpet. Hey, two extra pillows, though. I ain't going outside yet. Brody gave us some ca- Yeah, let's go hike tomorrow. <sighs> yeah. Fuck hell. Wish we could go there and pretend. Hey, don't say fuck Halloween. Halloween's one of the greatest things you could do. Nothing Love better Halloween. than drawing to clear my head after this mess. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. She's so sweet. Right, Sean? Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. Can't believe I can actually sketch Daniel without yelling at him not to move every two seconds. You can just get him a little hot dog, man. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Time to take the pen, dude. Okay, got it. 
He's so calm when he watches TV. Most kids are. Good for him. Yeah, they actually watch TV. I've got 14 nieces and nephews. A lot of them don't like to sit down and watch TV. They'd rather play games. Which, You're hey, new best friend, Mushroom. can't blame anything on that. I like the same thing. So, what's up? The buns want to catch Hot Dog Man and turn him into sausage meat. Oh, yeah. The giant meatball attacks in the next episode, right? Yes, and they get to meet the city mayo. <sighs> Man, it's been ages. Why don't you watch Hot Dog Man with me anymore? We're doing it right now. I'm too old, dude. And I've seen it so many times. <laughs> Nothing okay, wrong with that. Sean. Feels so good to sit down and watch TV. <laughs> I remember watching Bob the Builder with my nieces and nephews. Dora the Explorer. Tons of different things. Watch out for Grandpa Sean! <laughs> Stop! Sean! <laughs> no! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Next time, you'll respect the old man. Yeah. Okay, I'm done here. You're missing the best part. I know, but I gotta take care of the bath. Don't forget you're up soon. I know. Bed. Everything over there. Over here. Phone's still charging. Car. Step outside for a second. Track stars aren't supposed to smoke. No. Couldn't care less now. Grand opening. I could use a serious bong rip right now. Always message Layla. It's nice out here. Wish I cared. Puerto Lobos, Mexico. That is stupid to be going towards you. Can I get us this far? You really need to go back and deal with your issues in Seattle. Worst thing you did was you run. Get there without money? And Daniel still doesn't know what really happened. How the fuck am I gonna tell him? Me and Daniel just have to take it one step at a time. You do need to tell Daniel what happened. Gotta grow up for a second and in front, let them know. This harm it is, I'll make it harder on the kid, not saying anything. He is going to cry like nothing else, finding out his dad died. Or possibly died, we don't know for sure, we know the cop died. I miss GPS already. Uh, but at least we're progressing south. Astoria, Seattle, Portland, Arcadia Bay Lighthouse. This is Arcadia Bay. Or the Three Seals Motel. Oh, we missed the world's best clam chowder. I'd like to try that. And Frank Smokeout. Now, being from Oklahoma, growing up here, born, raised, all that, I could tell you. Some good barbecue places, some good watermelon. I've been to other states all over. No one, in my opinion, does barbecue as good as Oklahoma. Now that people argue, in other places barbecue is good. I've just had some really good barbecue. I can make some really good barbecue. Just FYI. But you like the barbecue from where you're at, let me know. Let me know the restaurant or the place or if you make it yourself. I think every state has their own take on food. All of them are good. For the most part. 
I do not like raisins and coleslaw. Put that out there. I've had people serve me coleslaw because it usually goes with barbecue. And they'll put raisins or nuts in it. I'm like, that has no place. But let me know what you think of your local barbecue and if it's good. I've had good Texas barbecue, New Mexican barbecue, Kansas barbecue, Arkansas. Oklahoma's still my favorite. No worries. We yeah. don't have to build a fire tonight. Dude, breakfast 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., checkout 11 a.m. With the Do Not Disturb sign up. Dude, we even got a hair dryer to. My hair feels like it's coated in dirt. A shower after Daniel will be bliss. Ah, damn. That fucking retinic hit me hard. I hit him harder, though. That redneck should never have touched children and tried to put him or lock him up in his secret backroom tickle dungeon. That pervert. None of that was right. Daniel, you have towels in the bathroom. Don't forget to use yeah, them. Yeah. Time to be a kid again. Man, this hot water is going to feel so good. I would remove that mat. They got hard water, you can tell by the seepage there. That mat looks like it's been peed on. You're about to use the just Fill her cleanliness. Up. I'd probably hand clean the thing before I use it. Oh, yuck, Sean. Them in my bag. Gross. Hey, don't touch that. Daniel will love this. Supposed to put it by where the water is coming in. Run, run! He'll get you. One bubble bath coming up. Brother of the month. <laughs> yeah, right. Then to the bath. You ready? Aw, the episode's almost finished. Nice try. The water's hot. Come on. Yeah, okay, I'm going. Gonna wash the dog while you're in there? Oh my god. Whoa. So many bubbles. Try and keep them in the bathtub. I will. Promise. Thanks. And no, the dog is not taking the bath with you. Okay, okay. Don't worry. I should throw my phone away while Daniel is washing. He'd freak out if he saw me. You shouldn't throw it away. You need to confront your issues. If you were actually going to run, that's when you'd get rid of the phone. But you need to confront your issues. You're making it worse. Oh, I see you online. Where are you? Lily's freaking out. Maybe I should leave her out of this, or she'll get into trouble too. Please keep asking questions. I don't know. Please, Sean, call me. You should call her. You need to deal with your issues. And you're away from that weird pedophile. Sean. Hey, Lila. Sean. I guess I'm I'm in a motel with Daniel. <laughs> Shit. Everyone's looking for you here.
Don't yell at her. How about you? Are you okay? No. Everything's fucked up. I'm so worried about you. The cops are talking to everybody at school. This is a nightmare. We're fucked. Sean, don't say that. The only fucked up thing you did was leave. I miss you so much. Maybe you could come back. Don't yell at you her. You know I wish I could, but... You can. You can't take that risk. That's the best thing you could do. They're, they're gonna put me in juvie. Daniel... For what? Shit. You're innocent. And I've got your back. No matter what. No way. I'm not gonna let you get in trouble for me. Stop acting like I'm never gonna see you again. That's bullshit. She loves you. I'm it's sorry. Being so negative to her. I totally hate this. Need to address your I problems. The freaking fighters are disbanded for a while. Shit actually changes, I guess. So, where are you going? Um, we're just going away for now. I'll call you if I get a chance. I miss you, Lila. Sean, wait. You, if you're gonna run away, destroying the phone's the best thing. You shouldn't have called her. But you really need to face what's going on. Because it's only gonna make it worse. You're a young adult. You need to go and adjust with this. Okay. Wait. Okay, okay. Daniel, get your butt in here right now. What? What did I do? You forgot. Can I actually check my phone now? Before this? Alright. Got the that, that. Brody got us a room. He's a boss. He even left us some cash. Sure. We meet again, chilling a bit. Been ages, real bad. It's almost too comfy to be true. Miss you so much. Maybe you should call back. 555. Carrot six five two seven six eight. Had to call Lila one last time. I miss her laughing. Hope she won't get in trouble. Now phone went out for eight a.m. swim safer that way. Off break. Really not. The one we missed right there. That's the one I wanted too. Alright, Eric. Hey, I feel weird about bugging but people saying crazy shit about you. Didn't know anything, so if you can send me some kind of message, I'd really like to know what's happening. Take care, man. Well, enough, you're around. I had to talk to the police. Some people are saying that you killed a cop, but they didn't tell me anything. Sean, we really want you to come back, please. How would he have killed the cop? There's no evidence or way he possibly could have done that. John, you and your family are in prayers. Whole team at your back. I'm here, so please contact me anytime. Can't sleep thinking of you two as usual. Whoa. Hey, I did not realize it was so many. Uh, just picturing you two hiding some dump makes me sick. Man, tell me what else going on with the roof, as you can tell. Please call. Today's that fucking news. You know I'm not the kind of person who curls up in some corner to pray. I'm here if you need help, just call. Anything, I'll keep trying. Sean is here online. Where are you? I'm worried as fuck. Please call me back. Please for asking questions. I don't know what to tell him. Sean, please call me now. Layla loves him. Those are the two should be dating. What is this? Socks? Underwear? That's it? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? That's what I got when I was a kid. Not funny. <laughs> yeah, it is. Dude, check out your face. Only your last videos of your dad, and you want to throw this phone. 
They totally suck at games. Oh yeah, track star? I was the dodgeball champ of my high school. So duck! <laughs> Ow! No fair! <laughs> you guys, don't crush the playbox! Hey, let's set it up! Dad, come on! Ow! Hey, my ball now! Watch out! <laughs> Merry Christmas, kids. Okay. No, oh, bro, the stupid phone. You're being an idiot kid by doing that. You really need to go face your stuff. It's all gonna come back to haunt you. What is the point of even charging it if you're just gonna toss it? Okay. Don't think about it. Just tell Daniel the truth. Are you kidding me? Remember that song? Come on, dance! Listen's music? Man, I... I can't dance right now. My legs are thrashed. Sorry. You're no fun. Daniel... Uh... Come here. We need to talk. Can we get a drink first? I'm thirsty. Right now? You said I could have a Coke. Or something. Okay. I'll get you a soda. But when I come back... We're going to talk. Serious. Fine. What's the big deal? Dad's dead, possibly. Dead dad. The need machine. See if I can get her phone back. Nope. Shower. Oh Daniel, what's happening? Daniel, calm down. You lied. Dad. You should have just told him. Gotta calm him down. Daniel, let's just talk, please. You knew Dad was dead. You shouldn't have lied to him. Don't say that. I know I messed up everything. You did the only thing you messed up is you should have told him originally you should never have left Seattle. Don't touch me! Daniel, please! It's okay. <laughs> you have trashed that hotel. I want that. <sighs> Me too. <laughs> you told me we were gonna see Dad. I'm sorry. I just... Lie to me ever again. Shouldn't have lied to you to begin with. Ever. I'll try, Daniel. But I need to protect you now. 
at any cost. I don't care. I'm not a baby. You don't need to protect me. <sighs> yes, I do. You need to go back to Seattle and deal with your it's shit. It's just you and me now. And I won't fail you. <laughs> what are we gonna do without him? Shh. It's gonna be okay. You could always it's go back to okay. Seattle and tell them, and then they'll probably hit, hit you up with your grandparents after a bunch of interrogations of why there's a dead cop. Or your mom. I thought she was dead, but the last episode made me think otherwise. Is it... Don't tell me you just crashed. What is up with this game and crashing? All right, well, we'll be back. I'm going to try to save and reload. Hopefully, we, we don't have to start this whole chapter over. We'll find out. So, be right back. All right, we're going to try to see if it'll continue the story. Had to repair the installation of the game again. This was the fourth time. Which is weird. Hard drive shows no issues. The installs for the game is happening. Sean. Am I a monster? Nothing is wrong with you. You're different. Why are we on a bus? Okay. I guess it's just whatever happened after what the hotel. Do I do now? I was thinking, maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos. Running is not going to solve. Yeah. You need I to guess. deal with it. You're not an adult. It'll be fine, Daniel. You need to go back to Seattle. There's nothing we can't do. Or go to your grandparent. As long as we're together. Get viciously interrogated. Can you tell me a story? Like he did? I'm not as good as him. <laughs> he used to tell me bedtime stories, too. But just do your best. You're all your brothers got left. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home there with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together. But, but one day, hunters took their dad away, forever. So now the brothers were alone, and they had to find a new home. They started a journey through the great thing. Your brothers and him are just sitting here crying. You should not have held on so long that the dad got shot. Do we for sure know that he's dead? We don't know yet. We know that the cop is dead.
Y'all are making it so hard on yourselves. It's all gonna come back in the end and bite you in the butt. You need to just deal with your situation in Seattle. I am curious where they bought a bus ticket from. Be continued. Guess that is episode one of Life is Strange 2. We have all of them, so I'm gonna play through the credits, I guess. Versus allowing us just to go on to the next one. But that was just episode one roads. Got a long list of people to go there. Didn't realize we were at the end of the episode. Well, we'll just let it play through. While that's going through, I have a little interesting story. So, I went on Amazon for Tears of the Kingdom uh, Ganondorf and Zelda Amiibos when they had just released. I bought both of them. They were supposed to be shipped and sent the same day. They got shipped all... So they came originally from Japan. Made it to California. From California to Texas. Somehow, they disappeared five days into Texas. And Amazon's like, hey, you know, they're still on their way. We, uh, just, you know, come back if you haven't got it by this certain date. Well, by that certain date came, went, contacted them. They wanted to give me a refund on only one of them. And they were shipped together, ordered together, but for some reason, they separated the order number, even though it was ordered at the exact same time in the two separate order numbers. They only wanted to get a refund on one. But I finally convinced them because they looked up the shipping information and were like, yeah, you haven't gotten either one of them. They were shipped together. So they gave me a refund on them. It took them forever. Because it wasn't, they said, oh, you know, it'll be two to three hours. No, it was several days. And I only asked for a gift card because I wanted to reorder it. And they said they couldn't reorder it. Even though I had ordered them directly from the Nintendo store on Amazon. It just disappeared somewhere in Texas. So I reordered it. This time, I only got Ganondorf. I went through the whole process of ordering both. They only sent me Ganondorf. The Japanese version of Ganondorf... It's funny because I had ordered the American one. I haven't opened it yet. But it even on the back says, you know, the Japanese version. Nintendo.co.jp amiibo. But hey, I don't mind. Not the one I ordered. My Zelda one, no idea. But it's still missing. It hasn't came. It was supposed to be here already too. We are now weeks into this process, if not a, maybe a month. Finally got my Ganondorf. I'm gonna end up having to file uh, another complaint for a refund on my Zelda one, probably. This still is a. But my evil bad dude showed up. Which I am happy about. I kind of weirded out that they sent me the Japanese one when they ordered the American one. And I ordered it because none of the local stores around here actually sell Amiibos anymore. Walmart stopped doing it. 
Target stopped doing it. The GameStops don't have them. Uh, Vintage Stock sometimes has Amiibos, but they don't have new ones there. So I'm waiting on my Zelda Amiibo. This arrived. It, it arrived in an Amazon box, but it was delivered by USPS. As Amazon, who the last one was shipped through, they lost their own package in Texas. The two of them combined into one box. For some reason, they separated into two separate orders. They both came from Nintendo. This one came from Nintendo. They wouldn't allow me to do a direct reorder. But it did come through Nintendo. So, that's my little story on my Tears of the Kingdom, Zelda, and Ganondorf Amiibos. I find it kind of odd. I love the Amiibos. Still only got one on the other but it has been the biggest hassle trying to get these in i don't think i've ever had this much trouble trying to get an amiibo even when i had to spend 75 dollars on the north american chic amiibo from super smash brothers because i wanted them all uh that was one what no one had locally and i finally found somebody online who's selling theirs in the package but now I'm still waiting on my Zelda when that comes in I may pop it into a video as well here since we're just going through the credits it'd be a good time to talk about it that has been on my mind that finally came I mean it is what November 19th and when did those release Please date Ganon Dwarf Here's Kingdom November 3rd They came out November 3rd It has been 16 days And I hate ordering anything from GameStop. I did not want to order it from GameStop. Because GameStop has burnt me so much, especially with my Tears of the Kingdom purchase. When I did the pre-order, I called up there and asked if they were doing a midnight release. They said no. Found out the next day they did a midnight release. And I didn't get my pre-order bonus. Even though I pre-ordered it, I went to the store not even an hour after it opened to pick it up. Left work, went to the store to go pick it up. And they said that they never received the pre-order planks to give to anyone. And they said, told me the exact words were tough luck. And then they told me that they had a midnight release, which I had told them I had called up there. And they're like, yeah, we changed our minds last minute. I'm like, I would have showed up. For a chance to get my pre-order thing and they're like we didn't ever receive them so i will not pre-order from gamestop or at least that gamestop ever again they were such douches about the whole process because i pre-ordered with them paid extra to try to you know move myself up in the line to get in there to get it no Nice thing is, we got Ganondorf. I do have the Link one. It's put away on my Amiibo shelf, but still have to open this one. I think it's cool to have the Japanese one, even though it's not what I had ordered. I mean, if you look at him, he looks pretty badass. I like Ganondorf. That was my little Amazon and GameStop story as this continues to go. I didn't know you could speed that up. Alright. I don't know why we're doing 
the credits on episode one when it should be on the last episode. So we're gonna let this speed up go through it really quick. I am on, was it day 12? Feeling better. Trying to make my way through it all. Nehru herself is on like day five. She's not feeling well, really cogged. So, but it's led to uh, more chances to try to make some episodes. There we go. For our dear friend and colleague, Michael Sherlock. Alright. He gave the Choco Chris to Esteban. 36%. You told the truth to Esteban. 72%. You hugged Esteban. 90%. Stole money from the jar. 22 I'm glad I did after finding out what happened. You confronted Brett, seventy-four percent. Decided to steal in the parking lot, fifty-six. You sent Dan you held a bag of food. I'm glad we did. Twenty-two. You didn't steal anything in the gas station, sixty percent. You hit Hank and stole the camping gear. Fuck Hank. That weird pedophile was all after this boy, locking him in his back dark room with the lights out. So 65%. Called Layla, 62. You said you tried to be honest, 9%. Don't promise something unless you can guarantee that that won't happen. You're gonna hurt Daniel worse if you Daniel learned about trailblazing, 97%. Oh, I didn't even know Daniel could fall in the woods. Uh, Daniel fetched wood for the fire. And now you can make it a fort. Daniel won the wood race. Uh, learned how to skip stones. Daniel was mad at you in the woods, 13%. Daniel was afraid of your stories and had nightmares. Ooh, I'm so glad he didn't get sick. Daniel had to beg for food, 22. I wonder how we could have had him have an okay night. Daniel didn't distract Doris. Oh, you could have had him distract her? That's funny. Daniel had enough to eat, 57%. Daniel stole some from Brody. Daniel didn't get a Power Bear toy. He tried. I don't know if I had any friends play this or not. Alright. Alright. Come on, man. Focus. Okay. We went south and Trust it's snowing. Me. You can do it. And Daniel's practicing his power. Cool. Huh? I mean, I guess we could call it an episode there. It would be a good point. Because, uh... We're going to start the next episode with a new episode. So, please like, comment, subscribe. Share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Tell me what you think of Life is Strange 2 so far. I like Daniel, Sean, Esteban, Layla. I think they're all good. Uh, I think Sean's an idiot. 100%. He should have... Legitly went and dealt with everything in Seattle running away is gonna do nothing but bite him in the butt Because now it sounds like they're trying to frame him for the murder of a cop Which he's a teenager And there's nothing that he ever did to the cop ever If the cop has a body cam, it'll completely show it The cop was at fault for shooting the dad 
Should have called for backup. Whole thing should have been called for backup. That should have just been it right there. But each their own, we'll see. I'm glad what we did to Hank. Screw Hank. Brody is a bro. He helped us out. Well, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day.